Hey guys, welcome to the 157th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to continue working on our Hangman project here. Alright, so uh, we're basically just going to be drawing the character's body, arms, and legs. So we're first going to check to see if the user passes through the person's body. So we're going to say if BP for our body parts enumeration right here equals body parts dot body then we're basically just going to draw a straight line down from the guy's head to simulate a uh, stick figure's body. And I already have the code for this all written out so you don't have to watch me uh, type it, but I'm going to explain it like always. Alright, so the first point is 60-90, and 60 is the X, and 60 is the center of uh, the character's head on the X axis. And I know this because the hangman post ends at 60. So um, this hangman post right here, the point of this is 60, uh, 50. So the X of it is 60, so if we want a, a line of the person's body to be on the same line, we're just going to put 60. Alright, and we have 90 because we added 40 for the height of the character's head to this 50. So the character's head right here, then this is 40. That is 40 right there. So we just add 40 to uh, 50, and then we get 90 for the person's body. All right. And then uh, 60, 170, since they're both on the same x-axis, we know that it'll be a straight line. And 70 or 170 just means that it'll be way farther down. So we'll just have a pretty long line. It'll be 80 pixels long. All right, so now let's just test this out and make sure that it works. So we're going to draw a body part, and then we're just going to draw the body. All right, so, yep, perfect. Just a straight line down coming right from his head, and it doesn't go into his face at all. All right, so now let's draw the arms. So we're first going to check to see if the user passes through any of the arms. So we're going to say if BP equals body parts dot, well, I guess we'll do the left arm first. And like always, I have the code all ready uh, written, so you don't have to watch me figure out the points. And basically, I start at 6100. And 6100 means that I'm going to be on the same line as the guy, so if I were to just draw the guy right here, I'm on the same line as his body, since this, is its, this point right here is 60 on the X. And 100 just means that I'll be down from his body, so 90 is right here. 100 would be like right here. And then 30 on the x-axis would be about over here. So if we go over 30, so about over there. And then we go up 15, since the difference between 100 and 85 is 15. So we just go up 15, like about there. And if we were to just connect these two points, we'll get a diagonal line that's about an arm. So let's just test this out right here. We're going to say draw body part, body parts dot... Uh, left arm. And again, just like the eyes, the left arm will be on our left, not on the character's left. So now when we debug, we get, yep, a left arm. And now we're just going to want to do the exact opposite for the right arm. So we're going to say else if the body part equals our right arm, then we're just going to basically just draw a diagonal line in the opposite direction. And I already have the code here. So, all right. So, they both start at 6100, so just like before, it'll start right there. It's down from the guy's head, so they won't, the arms won't be coming out of his neck. And then 90, 85 this time. So, they're both on the same y-axis, so they'll both end up on this line right there. The question is, though, on the x-axis, where we want it to end up on this line right here. And we want it to end up at 90. So, that would basically be... Just 30 from the center since the center of this is 60 and we had 30 right there so it's 30 from here we're just going to want to go an equal distance from his uh, neck right here so we're just going to go over 30 and we should get something similar to that all right and now let's just test this out and draw his uh, right arm here so we're going to draw his right arm and we should get something similar to that all right and yep, perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to finish him up and draw his legs.
So see you guys.